In today's video, a comprehensive guide to common cryptocurrency terminology and definitions, we'll be diving into the exciting world of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies have been making waves in the financial industry, offering a decentralized and secure way to conduct transactions. But before you jump in, it's essential to understand the terminology associated with this digital currency revolution. So, let's get started with 22 common cryptocurrency terms. Term number one, blockchain. A blockchain is a decentralized, distributed ledger that records all transactions on the network. It's secured using complex algorithms and cryptography, making it virtually impossible for transactions to be altered or tampered with. Next up, term number two, cryptocurrency mining. This is the process of verifying and adding transactions to the blockchain. Miners use specialized computers to solve complex mathematical problems, and they are rewarded with a small amount of the cryptocurrency for their efforts. Now let's talk about wallets. Term number three. A cryptocurrency wallet is a digital wallet that stores your cryptocurrency holdings. It's used to send and receive cryptocurrency, and it typically includes a private key that you need to access the wallet and sign transactions. And speaking of private keys, term number four. A private key is a unique secret code that grants access to your cryptocurrency wallet and authorizes transactions. Remember, keep it safe and secure. Term number five, public key. A public key is a code associated with your cryptocurrency wallet and is used to receive transactions. It can be shared with others, but remember, the private key must remain secret to protect your wallet. Moving on to term number six, cryptocurrency exchange. This is a platform that allows you to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies. Different exchanges offer various cryptocurrencies and use different methods for matching buyers and sellers. Now let's explore altcoins. Term number seven. An altcoin is any cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin. With hundreds of different altcoins, each has its unique features and characteristics. Term number eight, token. A token is a digital asset that represents various things, such as access to a product or service, ownership of an asset, or membership in a community. Tokens can be issued and traded on blockchain-based networks and decentralized applications, dApps. Speaking of dApps, term number nine. A decentralized application is a software application that runs on a decentralized network, like a blockchain. dApps are typically open source and can be built on top of existing blockchain platforms. Now let's talk about smart contracts. Term number 10. A smart contract is a self-executing contract with terms directly written into lines of code. These contracts are stored and replicated on the blockchain network. Term number 11. Hashing. This is the process of applying a cryptographic function to data to produce a fixed size output called a hash. Hashing is used in various applications, including cryptocurrency mining, to verify transactions. Let's move on to term number 12, fork. A fork is a change to the blockchain protocol that creates a new version of the blockchain. There are two types, a soft fork, which is a backward compatible upgrade, and a hard fork, which is a non-backward compatible upgrade creating a new blockchain. Term number 13, hash rate. The hash rate measures the processing power of a cryptocurrency network, typically expressed in hashes per second. It's used to calculate the amount of cryptocurrency that can be mined in a given period. Now, let's discuss term number 14, cryptocurrency market capitalization, or market cap. It measures the total value of all cryptocurrencies in circulation, calculated by multiplying the total number of coins or tokens by the current market price. Term number 15, cryptocurrency wallet address. It's a unique code used to send and receive cryptocurrency transactions. It's typically a combination of letters and numbers associated with a specific wallet. Next up, term number 16, initial coin offering, or ICO. It's a fundraising method in which a company or organization issues new cryptocurrency tokens in exchange for funding. ICOs are often used to support the development of blockchain-based projects or products. Term number 17, proof of work, or POW. It's a consensus mechanism used by some cryptocurrencies to validate transactions and add them to the blockchain. Miners compete to solve complex mathematical problems and earn rewards. Term number 18, proof of stake, or POS. 
This consensus mechanism validates transactions and adds them to the blockchain based on the amount of cryptocurrency held by a node. The more cryptocurrency, the higher the chance of being chosen to add a new block. Moving on to term number 19, cryptocurrency trading pair. It's a combination of two different cryptocurrencies traded against each other on an exchange. For example, the BTC ETH trading pair represents the exchange rate between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Term number 20, cryptocurrency mining pool. It's a group of miners who combine their computing power to increase the chances of finding a block and earning a reward. The reward is then distributed among the members based on their contribution. Term number 21, altcoin mining. It's the process of verifying and adding transactions to the blockchain of any cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin. Altcoin mining may require specialized hardware and software, and its profitability depends on market conditions. Lastly, term number 22, cryptocurrency market cycle. It's the pattern of price movements observed in the cryptocurrency market. The cycle includes bullish, rising, and bearish, falling trends, as well as periods of consolidation and volatility. And that wraps up our list of common cryptocurrency terms. We hope this video helped you gain a better understanding of the cryptocurrency world and its associated terminology. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments down below.